now and welcome back to Outer Worlds. We are in some secret labs, seemingly. It's called the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Uh, but it's just a lab. And I need... ...to sneak what around here. What I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacular. That we never accounted for, so I had to if I didn't have high speechcraft, like we had to use 100 lie here to get in without getting shot at instantly. Of course, but we're obligated. We're obligated to get a working formula before Akande has us all in tanks to help test the next batch of samples. Now get to work. How does this work? Okay, so it goes down every time I'm moving. How I'm moving doesn't matter. But it goes down based on distance. Which is odd. Which just kind of encourages me to explore, then go back to reacquire my cover. just weird. I think there's a good chance that I will not do that and this is gonna turn out to be a bloodbath. of charge uh, so these are the baths this is some kind of science area workshop doesn't matter too much unfortunately we are sleepy and yeah, those would attack us we see uh, cryo chambers. But we seem to be at the right spot. Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident. Brought about by a ruptured aneurysm. Okay. Let's use the terminal. Remember, ministry terminals are used for the ministry business only. Anyone caught or suspected of using military ministry terminals for criminal, defamatory, or non work related purposes will be prosecuted. Uh, massive cranial hemorrhage upon removal from hibernation chamber. Intestinal rupture upon removal from hibernation chamber. Life technician accidentally shorted hibernation chamber. Subject that executed. Pulmonary edema upon removal from hibernation chamber. Okay. Not good. I wouldn't want to be in a hibernation chamber. Okay, that's not exactly how science works, right? Why don't you use like a microphone? Um, I mean, microscope. You not know, just like stare at dead rats. Science, right? I'm not a scientist, but who knows? Maybe that's how you do it. Any scientist in the uh, in, uh, watching? Tell me. Are you just stare at dead rats? Do you just do that? If so, I may have missed what? my calling. What was that? I'd better take a look. No, don't do that. Okay, keep them quiet. Hey, you! Oh shit, I think we gotta get... 
No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Uh, Dr. Edicott can vouch for me. Let me guess. She's still holding the ketchup packet incident over Holt's head, right? We've talked to her before. She can't keep letting her special friends down here. The fuck? Hey, I'm like extra special. Just get out of here. I don't want to catch you hanging around. Fine. You get tired of patrolling. Let's go rough somebody. Can bust down. Oh, there's a second floor. How big is it? Not significant. Not so fast. Well, this area is for authorized personnel only. You're not supposed to be here, are you? Yeah, I can be here. Relax. How do you think I got here? I guess that's what I was wondering. I thought we were both asking rhetorical questions. This got awkward tonight. As a matter of fact, oh, right now I'm with you. My turn. How about you go? All right. It would be bad if one of my colleagues found you here. Right. Really. I wouldn't mind just shooting up the place. I'm gonna run out of explanations real soon. Can I jump down? No need. Central lab. Sure. Can we go back to the entrance? There's like a special lift here. Let's have a chat. Oh, not a chat. What is this? Dimethyl sulfoxide formulation version. Yeah. Discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. Do not stare directly at contents. What? Transfer dimethyl sulfoxide to canister. This procedure may result in the invalidation of experiment results and the death of human test subjects. Further information. Sudden withdrawal from dimethyl sulfoxide is highly lethal and will result in cancellation of any in-progress experiments. Experimental integrity and test subject vitality can be maintained by leaving a 73% dimethyl sulfoxide concentration in circulation. Experiment details. Experiment authorization, Rockwell Charles. Project, lifetime employment program. Objective, to repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing the death of the human subject and the loss of associated productivity. Uh, results, inconclusive. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah, the problem here is if I take 26%, I, we gotta think about this. View lab notes. 
The addition of dimethyl sulfoxide to the current uh, round of tests has resulted in some improvements. The subjects are showing improved circulation and increased neural activity. However, our formula is still missing something. We are still unable to fully revive subjects from long hibernation and removing their supply of dimethyl sulfoxide results in their rather excruciating death. The problem is compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects multiple times over their lives. To make matters worse, we've had a hard time securing additional dimethyl sulfoxide. We may have to make do with this batch. Okay. I'm not sure what's a morally acceptable option. I got some plasma rifle too, I believe, but it's crap. Yeah. So I can take 28% and leave and leave this experiment running and no one will know I was here. I can also take 100%, perhaps shoot up this experiment, and that's kinda super torpedoed everything that they were working on. It's hard to say. Of course, the only way I don't get blood on my hands uh, directly. What? Something's not. Hold it right there. Trespassing in the Ministry of Accuracy. And Your weapon isn't loaded for starters. Wait, really? Yep. If you don't even, <laughs> if you're not even sure, then you got no business carrying it. Uh, I'm gonna take a minute. Just do a quick inspection. Right. You'd better be gone by the time I'm done. No more warnings. Fine. Can I just kill you? I think we have to shoot this place up. Is there... Do we have a silence weapon? So this is apparently silenced. But I'm not sure it would work. Kill them all. You got Inferno Sight. Let's take it. Alright, guys. The problem is this is kind of human experimentation. On my way. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stand for that shit. Scientists, you wanna die? I got another fight in me. Okay, that was probably a little too cold blooded. I guess I decided. <sighs> Let's take it all. They are even experimenting on their own people. It seems like it. These, these are dressed as guards. This is a, a crappy thing to do, for sure. Love. All right, no more warnings. They got the job. If you run out of warnings, that you just get killed. <laughs> you like to? I feel like there should be a, like a step between getting killed 
and uh, getting a warning. <laughs> like they're trying to arrest me or shit like that. Like hand me your over your hand, hand over your weapons and you're coming with us. Something like that. Security. Rest in peace, Commando. Ultra pistol. Uh, okay. We see some enemies over here. Okay. I'm not sure if we need to shoot up the scientists. Definitely not. This gun is so fucking loud. This gun is so fucking loud. Do I just... Audio. Music. Let's lower the volume. Okay, that should be okay. I don't know. This gun is so fucking loud compared to everything else. I, oh, still the whole canister. I think that's kind of it. I don't think there's anything else to do here. My companions are not really expressing any opinion either way about this uh, situation. Great work. Doing. I'm shooting you in the face in five seconds. Okay, use the elevator. I'm upstairs. Yeah, there's not much to do. Oh, that didn't help much. I guess we're gonna use the stairs and leave the way we came in. Return to Phineas. Well, I guess we don't have to kill the scientists, so this is just way too cold blooded. The thing is with this, this plan is already rotten and like a lot of people are just like trying to enable it and this whole supply is just used for endless human experiments. In a way stealing it, I'm kind of justifying here because the, 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 the best solution I suppose is just, you know, maybe taking the supply, taking the people and like everyone is gonna be happy. I don't think that's super realistic. Okay. Despite all the sneaking around, I felt like killing. Killing siblings here. Oh man. It wouldn't be bad to just overthrow the government. Defeat our foes.
Am I dealing with hostiles here? It might be possible. But I managed to piss off a lot of people. Termination 7. Sadly, that's not super useful. Oh man. Quite a way to leave the city. You don't have to die, just don't attack me. Turned out to be quite a the bloodbath. Tag shotgun. Do we have a Byzantium reputation? Because they must not like me. There's no Byzantium reputation. The board? Oh, I think uh, board is Byzantium, mostly. Processing data. Don't do it. This guy's not dying. Okay, maybe I'll just lower the volume a little bit again because this gun is just so stupidly loud. Drone. Don't hurt me. No, I'm not gonna do that. No. Take him down. Down they go. That's not a terrible helmet. This is just a dead end. That drone is trying to run away. Yeah. I just don't like the air drones. People are fine. Might have to kill more people here. Don't. Oh man, what a bloodbath! Yeah, having a silence weapon. I guess would have been uh, preferable. Is that our ship? Can I just DP there? Even if I could, I wouldn't do that. Because we would uh, miss out on this uh, escape from Byzantium. They're not saying anything. A very questionable choice that I made. Think. I'm not saying it's it's the bad one, but you can definitely argue about it. Definitely, I didn't uh, plan on killing everybody. This thing would need a silencer.
Refugees, don't worry. I'm not against you. I suppose the question is, if you stand for something rotten, do you deserve to die? Even if you don't know what you are standing for. Uh, can you be just a guard to some really bad dudes? I just don't even care what they do. All right, I'm on the move. Uh, we cannot open that. Now they seem to be fine now. I just want to overthrow the co corporation. Uh, what I would like is uh, for my companions and me to like uh, uh, shout in a way that, you know, just lay down arms and reject the corporation or, or die. Or maybe not that, not even that. But if they attack me, I obviously defend myself. Oh, I guess we gotta return to Phineas. Return to Lydia Hagen. On the Groundbreaker. Uh, we gotta go back to Fallbrook. We gotta talk to Parvati. Okay. I don't know if I wanna do the main quest first. Maybe the companion quest first. Let's do that. Tough choice. I didn't wanna shoot up the whole town. I just felt like that experiment needed to end. And we, we read that, you know, people were dying. They were put to repeated experiments. And, uh... And they were basically... That, signing up for that that project, if, if they sign up at all. Uh, most likely not. That was just a death sentence. No more fertilizer shipments be brought on board. Who keeps ordering these? So, let's drink and eat something. Maybe the base health increase is, uh, is food. All of them food. Alright, Parvati, let's talk. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. All right, so I guess we're going to the Groundbreaker. Talk to Parvati on the ship. Okay, so we can go to the Groundbreaker. I, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Let's skip the pleasantries. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Hold on, I'm getting a lot of noise on this signal. Could you fuck off and never call back? 
<laughs> oh man. Mm. The game really wants me to sell out Vels. You want me to sell him out? That's the obvious. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Wow. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go to the Grand Breaker. What the hell? All right, time to chill. <gasps> Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Um. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Minister Clark. Right. Uh, that's not at all. <laughs> She doesn't have you on her side. She would be lucky if that was true. Okay, Parvati, are you ready for the date? All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Like always. You look exactly like you always do. Great. You look terrific. Oh. My hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. What? Are you having a date in my quarters? Oh, no, no. Checking on the date? That wouldn't be appropriate. Well, that said, this quarter... This uh, <coughs> quarter is awfully... Quiet. I'm feeling a little bored. This uh, board game that I play by myself. Kind of boring. You know, I'm just gonna go grab a drink. You know. Mm -hmm. Tell my dear. Hi, Sam. Good night. Hi, guys. You got a second? No. I'm. I'm just uh, grabbing a drink. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I need your help. Purple berry juice. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He was probably half as tall as I was. Oh my me. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. Just relax. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Um, uh, I'm just, uh, uh, drinking something here. Don't look at me. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's it's a pretty good looking lamp here. I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her and I, I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals on her mouth, father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded, cold. Oops, pardon. Sorry about that. I didn't want to interrupt. It was just, uh. If you're cold, then I'm the void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I. Thank you. I can only crouch. I can't sit. <laughs> wow. 
This is. <laughs> I see the sparkles flying. I mean, you guys can talk. Wait, is it because someone's making it awkward around here? They were having no trouble talking before I came along. <laughs> I'll be going now. You sleep in your armor? The fuck. Nyoka. You sure you got enough stuff here? Oh, look at that. I'm having the best time. Oh yeah. Um, I mean. You've got a capable crew. That speaks well of your leadership. Oh, you you did really. Hey, take it up. easy with that thing. Oh what? No 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 no. I was just uh. Never mind. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Oh yeah. Mind control. Oh my god, can I be a total psychopath and kill her? I checked it on the dates. Oh fuck, you should leave the ship and let them enjoy the date together? Fuck. I was thinking something else. Now hear me out, uh, Parvati. Uh, so you want her to like you. And I get this mind control gun. How about I do this? Oop. What a pussy. She died from a mind control gun. No one ever dies to that. And Pavardi didn't even react. This would have been a psychopath thing to do. Oh, look Hi, at Kat. that. Hi. Uh, so, you know, I, I was supposed to check in on the dates. I checked it on the dates, and now they told me to fuck off. <laughs> I can't blame them. All right. Hey, you got a minute? Now, we have to leave the ship. Um, that doesn't look so great on you. We gotta get you something else. You gotta address the part here. I gotta leave the ship. Can I? <laughs> I can take part body with me. Let's fucking do it. I'm taking you away from the date. How about that? Would that work? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. And you can tell me all about it. <laughs> Parvati's date with July over. I fucking know. I took her away from that. <laughs> Ask her how the night went. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Let's go. Let's go back. Tell me about how, go how it went. <laughs> oh, that was actually quite nice. They're having a chat. It wasn't like, you know, super high power level uh, conversation, if but you that's stop dumb. in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Oh, I, I was kind of uh, totally expected you that you're going <clears> to <throat> say something else like uh, Parvati and uh, Jule banging in the engine room, which would be like, I, 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 like I'm totally cool with that. We can make the Parvati and... You don't feel it. But I know Own the engine room and just have sex just here all the time. Uh, evening, Captain. Or is it afternoon? I don't know how long I've been up here. Sam? Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. We only gotta do that. Bravati? Okay, Captain, she's gone. Yay! Let it go well. I want all the details. Before you say anything, I want to be clear that I'm done running around for you. Ah, that's just mean. Great, something broke while you were busy. <laughs> you best get to it. Let it go well. I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. That's cool. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. <laughs> uh. 
Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. So, but uh, creeping in uh, midday for like two minutes and doing stupid shit. But that's mandatory, you know. That she knows that your crewmates are goofy and they also kind of have your back. So you laid out the meal, brought June in and started the music. Oh, there was music? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Monarch person, that's the one. So the meal went well. The dessert too. Ooh. Dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. Right. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Okay. I would have... I'm a coward, so I would have let her go first. Uh, so you brought out the candy that that's like at least 10 years old? It might be still okay. Maybe she was tearing up because it was so bad. It probably stinks. <laughs> I don't know. I have a really bad sense of smell, so... <clears throat> I can't tell. Smooth. Very, very well done, Parvati. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so True. shy. I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? That's very smart. I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. What the fuck? She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like... My cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. That's very nice. Bringing a fucking paper. I'm definitely more like Parvati than Junlei. Uh, what happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. <laughs> Wait, she wrote a speech to declare her love? Yeah, that's very formal. I would never do that shit. <laughs> She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right, especially That's after that message about Isabel. That's sweet. Kind of justified. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be smart. my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! <laughs> ah, what about this, your disinterest in physical affection? I want to ask that. Can I ask that? Fuck. Can I reload? That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. I wanted to ask about her... Oh crap, that's the menu save? Uh, auto save... When I came back to the ship, that's... I, one thing I'm wondering, and what if I do drugs? <laughs> I, I, I keep wondering these things. On standby for command. What if I do drugs before we talk to her, increasing my mind attributes? Because I need to bump my attributes, so I have perception of good. Felix. What? What? I don't know. Are you full? What? What happened here? Oh, this is after the talk, right? That makes sense. Is this before the talk? Yeah. I made a quick save before the talk. It seems like it. Status ripple. 
Okay, oh, Captain, fuck. she's gone. I forgot to <laughs> forgot to take drugs. <laughs> Sorry, maybe uh, I'm, that's how it works. We gotta take some drugs. Let's do that. What a mess! Did I have the? Okay, Captain, okay, she's gone. Okay, this is a good save. I, I'm just curious what she says. Did it go well? Are we just so, gonna skip over? Then I I'm just gonna. I'm kind of curious. I knew I was there. <laughs> I knew I was there. Well, sure, you could see, but I thought maybe you'd want to know some of what was said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't much of a romantic, huh, Captain? So you laid out the meal, brought you in, and started the music. She's just. Yeah. I told. Like, we're just gonna go over. Is there two? But when I. But I Smooth. What? I'm just gonna choose the same options. What about your disinterest in physical affection? I'm kind of curious about this because I'm kind of curious how the game uh, kind of well, game obviously brought this up and kind of curious how the game is gonna talk about it. Maybe let's go with that. We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it would work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Share meals, talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but... You've sure changed my yeah, life. Yeah, we already had this talk. So. All right. Very nice. 43,000 XP. That's a lot of XP. Time to break my legs. Oh, I didn't do it. How disappointing. So. Uh, that's Emerald Vale. I should apparently buy some uh, spacer armor. We need to return to Lydia Hagen. So let's get outside. I have the usual team, Ellie and Parvati. And uh, the goal may be to check out some stores, not super important. Maybe buy a spacer gear stuff. And definitely uh, return to Lydia. I can check this. Taste of Freedom. So this is most likely import stuff. They, they don't have this. This is not local gear. Uh, we need to buy spacer gear. Possibly from the guy. Spacer's choice. Looking for some sp don't take my word. Space of choice. Uh, have a look. So, but we only need armor. Yeah, it it doesn't say space of choice. So I'm not sure. So that's space of choice, right? But we don't have a space of choice. So this is a space of choice helmet. I think this is what counts. But we don't have access to space of choice armor. Wait, is it defective? Defective movement, but it's space of choice. So, apparently it's space of choice, so that might be good enough. Uh, I suppose we can check the vending machines here. But it's very unlikely that it's gonna be space of choice. And we can see from the design. I'm not even sure if we have... Space of choice dedicated armor. 
Aramid Ballistics. Oh fuck, that's a good helmet. Level 30. Oh, I'll be taking that. Level... 29. 50 armor. Yeah, that's kind of crap. Level 30. Plasma Launcher 2. Yeah, this is an AoE weapon. Level 26. Why do you have a, the the feeling that the game is gonna end at level 30, or at least the gears gonna end at level 30? Very strong feeling. Do you have what it takes to defend you? So we can check out the armor merchant still over here. Maybe he has something good. Maybe he has basic choice. I'm looking for Spacer's Choice. So, armor. That's Aramid, uh, <coughs> Aramid Ballistics. Of course, we're looking for... Oh, that's, that's what we're looking for. Level 30 armor, 84 armor. That's good. Uh, can we see... Space Joints, Ports of Call. That's Space Choice Worker Outfit. Is that good enough? Maybe we buy that. Space Choice. Let's buy the Space Choice Heavy Helmet. I don't know if this is gonna work. But I suppose it doesn't hurt. Fresh from and we might as well just bring some water. Worst case scenario, we're just gonna drink it. See? Wasting the it. Gear, Level 30 gear. That's pretty good. Let's go up! Oh crap! Press the wrong button. Did I? Oh no. Right button, just we need to wait for the elevator. So you were really kind of wrong about aliens, but I think you were bullshitting me in the first place. Is it done? I spoke to Chartrand. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You misunderstand Chartrand's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. Okay. Jump out! Okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's not much we can do there. Set up a dummy beneficiary account for Ellie. Yeah, we gotta go back to the ship. And... Technically, we can attempt to go back to Byzantium and try to present my Spacer's Choice gear, but it, there's a Captain, decent chance. if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Actually, Felix wanted to talk so to me. So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back no? for all of it. With interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah, I got a minute. If we wanted the board's attention, we got options. Piracy, vandalism, maybe some light arson. We what? wanna put some fear in the board, right? Get them scared of us. I'm not doing those things just to... Just to be a bad boy. The board's got plenty of reason to fear us. The board's got plenty of reason to fear us. I want to believe you, but 
the adjutant didn't seem too scared of us. You just got an audience with Sophia Conde. That's the adjutant to the chairman? <laughs> you sure we should be trusting her? Probably not. There's a good chance she's using us. If you think she's using us, why'd you give her the time of day? She's obviously using us, by the way. I got a plan. You got some secret plan to double cross the board? I knew it! Uh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. I know we're freelancers and all. We take work where we can find it. But we gotta be vigilant, you know? This is how the board gets you. A job here, an errand there. Before you know it, you're calling him sir and ma'am. I know what I'm doing, Felix. Your warning has been noted. Don't worry. <laughs> I appreciate your time. Let's get back to it. Don't worry, I'm as not much of a sh straight shooter as as I don't think uh, anyone would say. I'm a straight shooter. I mean, <laughs> I just uh, <clears throat> well, we're gonna look at other solutions as well. Hey, Captain. Oh, hey, Parvati. So I might need to get rid of some guns. But what I would like to try is that, can we just model what we got? Because if does if this doesn't work, I don't know what the fuck would. We can go to Byzantium. Oh yeah, we still gotta go to Phineas' lab. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna do this first. I'm just kind of curious if anything's gonna happen. I mean, that should do it, right? Anything that space is choice should do it. I think. I don't know if these guys still hate me. Yeah, that's a lot of people here. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art? What? Their mistake. What? Oh fuck. I didn't expect that. I was planning to dress up all pretty. She wants me dead. Does she have, does she have like a secret here? Okay, I guess this is uh, an outcome. I suppose we don't have to think about dressing up pretty. But Remember that stranger I saw in the square? But Celeste is the only one who hates us, or are we gonna get attacked in other places? No. Celeste hates us, but that's it. Okay. So I guess that quest is complete. <laughs> what about the, the guys that gave me the beacons? Do they hate me? Make him regret it. No! Please don't hurt me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! But I'm not gonna hurt civilians. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd Let's go with the Bureau of Exploration and see if these guys hate me too. No. Hey, welcome back. Oh, look at that, a friend of phrase. I I'll, I'll be leaving. So maybe we don't ignore his mission? Even though it's a little annoying. But I was mostly annoyed with the... The dress-up mission. But I still wanted to attempt it. And apparently it doesn't work. A good thing that I didn't go out of my way to buy so many clothes. Yeah. So, we have to go to Walbrook. 
Phineas Vellas. So we gotta have a talk with Phineas Vellas most of all. And yeah, go to Emerald Vale, go to Fallbrook. Okay. Actually, I would like to have a chat. Oh shit, hostiles. My dear fellow, you've no idea how. Where are the hostiles here? Apparently, there are hostiles in that direction, based on the compass, and that direction. Oh man, do I need to just go there again? My foot. Can I transport now? No. I guess we're going on foot. Unless I'm willing to kill everybody. Ooh. I don't think jumping down is uh, wise. What? I don't know if we should do Ellie's mission. I think we just should just talk to Phineas fellas. It should be good. Oh, reload the gun. I don't care about that gun. Ultra assault rifle is the only one I need. I might go for a rest. I just need to talk to Phineas. But before that, which is gonna be uh, progressing the main quest, and we seemingly, well, we just don't have a lot of quests going on. So I think this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.